Okay, we just got home from H-E-B, so I'm gonna do a really quick grocery haul. Um, some I brought some stuff with me and I'll just like not go over that and not mention it. So we got Planet Oat Vanilla Oat Milk Creamer, um, pineapple coconut water for smoothie, some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, these two twists of lime Topo Chico's because they just sell them individually there. Chocolate hummus, um, my mom wanted some chocolate milk so we got our little one of those. I got two Power Crunch bars and I'll leave these acrylic organizers linked um, from Amazon down below. I had all these verb bars but I just threw like all the bars in here I and mean, I just bought two of the Power Crunch cookies and cream. I just have like seltzers in here. Um, Topo Chico and Alani new seltzers and then just put all the Greek yogurts. Just got toasted coconut vanilla of the Light and Fit and strawberry cheesecake. Little thing of pineapple for a recipe this week. Raspberries. This little berry colander is from Urban Outfitters and I don't think they have any more but they probably have some one similar. Then we got some blueberries and a big thing of Greek yogurt because I use it for overnight oats and stuff all the time. Just like Oh, I think I got vanilla. I meant to get plain, but vanilla works too. The Light and Fit Vanilla. Loaf of sourdough, some English muffins, some Parmesan cheese, 2% um, Colby and Monterey Jack, some cotilla cheese, flour and corn tortillas. I am so happy to have like good tortillas. Finally, H-E-B tortillas are so good. Some lunch meat, just turkey. This is all I have in here. <laughs> it's just simply potatoes, the shredded hash browns. Then we have some celery sticks, uh, two little salad kits. I just got have the Asian and then the sunflower crisp and then some broccolini and green beans. And then we got some light agave, guacamole salsa. I got this like raspberry, I almost dropped it, <laughs> raspberry fruit and chia spread. It looks really good and has like good ingredients. Um, I figured that'd be good on like bread with like peanut butter or something or a rice cake they were out of rice cakes like literally every single kind roasted garlic pasta sauce um ranch this la cologne cold brew it doesn't fit up here and i didn't want to lay it down some red hot buffalo sauce this is just the original Stubbs barbecue sauce coconut aminos and we already had those and then got some earth balance butter dark chocolate chips baking soda um minced garlic back here and then some uh, plant butter sticks, eggs, if I already said that, I don't know. And that's all of the fridge. And then going into the freezer, um, we got, my mom really wanted to try these two and we're gonna try them. They're like the little everything bagel bites like Starbucks used to have. Then we got some frozen strawberries and then a frozen papaya, mango, and strawberry blend. Got light Cool Whip. And then these look so convenient, just like for a quick dinner at night. Um, have Brussels sprouts, carrots, and onions, and it comes like with the pan, so you literally just throw it in the oven and it's already seasoned. And it's literally just seasoned with like olive oil and salt and pepper. And we got these gluten-free waffles um, and dairy-free. They just have like the best ingredients um, out of all of them. And then this frozen corn, and then we just have some meat down there, ground turkey, chicken, that kind of thing. And then we got three Honeycrisp apples. We got a bunch of oats and rice to refill those because we were they were empty from school. And I had them in the pantry, but I think we need easier access to them, so I'm leaving them out. And then we got three avocados, three lemons. Um, I got some orange honey. I got more pepper. I got some chia seeds, cacao nibs, and then some like dark chocolate. This is the hemp's, yeah, I think is what it's called, granola. Um, angel hair protein pasta. Um, I don't think any, oh, Mexican vanilla blend extract. And then um, going over into this pantry. So this is kind of how the organizers are right now. I don't know if they'll stay this way, but it came in like a big pack of like 20 of the organizers. This one's actually stacked, I think, and I need to separate those. Um, so I just have like the canned stuff in here. We just got a can of refried black beans, two things of tomato paste, and I already have that one thing of tomato paste. And then we bought um, some saltines since my stomach's really been bothering me. And if I like can't eat anything, I can at least eat those. And I got, I've seen like people use putting like powder mix for like overnight oats and stuff and protein smoothies. So I'm going to try that. I got vanilla and white chocolate and then we got another avocado oil spray. Um, these are just extra chia seeds that didn't fit the thing. I got, they had their taco seasoning on sale. So I just got the less sodium of the H-E-B kind. And then I got some of the H-E-B rosemary and garlic cooking sauce. This actually like isn't like the sodium and stuff wasn't terrible on it. So that was nice. Um, and then I have some chicken stock back there that I got and the rest of it we already had that we brought with us. Got two onions, um, already had all of this. It's like baking related things in that um, container. And then right here, this is like extra like rice, like rice packs, like for kneading rice quicker. Um, and then some extra pasta. 
And then this is just like a pumpkin pancake and waffle mix that I have from the fall that's still not expired from Trader Joe's that my friend got me. And we have two onions and if I have potatoes, I would also put them in here. But yeah, that's a grocery haul and how we kind of organize everything. I tried to like organize the fridge and pantry like the best I could um, to like optimize the space and hopefully it'll work out. But it is 1.38, I'm going to work on getting the closet done. So I haven't made much progress since I like last updated y'all in the last vlog. Um, just because I was so sick yesterday and like my stomach was just bothering me all day long. Okay guys, everything is like actually pretty much done, except for the living room. Um, Griffin still has to take this cooler to his parents' house. These are just like reusable grocery bags that I need to put somewhere. I gotta put the laundry basket in the laundry room. Counter is pretty much done. So I originally had this right here in the middle, like with this stuff, right? But it kind of, the leaves of like the fake eucalyptus was like blocking the lotion for me and like the soap for Griffin. I don't know, I might try and find like a fake plant that's like taller and skinnier. Um, that I can put right there that wouldn't like overhang on this kind of stuff um, but it's just hard to figure out how I guess I could literally just do this I mean it doesn't have to be full like I can just do that and it'd be fine so I really want to go to like some home decor stores and like figure out like what I could like put right here I'd like to put like a frame picture maybe and like just like a candle but right now like my mom has her toothbrush and then I just have a candle and the salt lamp I just put the little spa smelling candle and then the little cactus over there and then right here, I have a fake plant and all the perfumes and everything. Um, this is like my old, I need to fold this up and, or actually I need to wash those, my pillowcases. Um, and here we put all of our vitamins and that we take every day so we can just like reach in and grab them. I may like switch that, put that down here and then this up there just because getting vitamins from like something higher would be easier if it was lower. So I might do that. And then these little jewelry dishes and a candle. All right, everyone, really quickly, I wanted to share with you all the sponsor of today's video, which is Scentbird. Y'all know I've worked with Scentbird many times before and I absolutely love the service they offer. And if you don't know what service they offer, they are a fragrance subscription service that allows you to pick from over 600 different fragrance scents each month and you can like skip any month with no penalty. And they have both perfumes and cologne, so this is really great if you're wanting to also like get it for a gift for your boyfriend or something or for your girlfriend and it costs $16 a month and you get to pick which scent you want so there's no surprises like you really get to choose what you want to be smelling like for the month and with the $16 subscription each month you will get a 30-day supply of perfume so this is bigger than your typical little rollerball sample fragrances and it's a full 30-day supply for just $16 and you can upgrade to receive two or three cents a month if you would like I love how they work directly with the brand so they can really bring to you the designer label fragrances such as Versace and Gucci, but they also have like the smaller indie brands as well. And if you're like me and you just have no idea what kind of fragrances you like, they do have a quiz that you can take on their website to help you sort of discover which type of scent you would probably like most. With my code Abby2, you all can get 30% off your first month with Scentbird, so you can get a 30 day supply of any brand name perfume or any indie brand perfume that you want for just $11, which is an incredible deal. One of my favorite things about Scentbird is the packaging these make for great perfumes to take with you on the go in your purse, gym bag, or if you're traveling somewhere, or if you're just really trying to decide what type of scent you want before committing to purchasing a full-size bottle. But they come in these really pretty different colored vials and you basically just twist them up to 
pull the little 30 day supply out and then you have your perfume and you can just pop it right back in and twist it down. To share with you all the scents that I chose for this month, I have three right here with me. This is the Brumet Cedarwood and Vanilla and this is honestly just the perfect scent for going into fall here pretty soon, which I literally cannot even comprehend that it's almost fall. Doesn't make sense to me at all, but it has notes of orange, jasmine, patchouli, rose, and vanilla. And I really think that that just really embodies fall in a scent and it smells so comfy, cozy, and warm and I don't have any fragrances like that, but I definitely wanted something to sort of have for the upcoming fall months. I also got Gucci Bloom, which I've been dying to try. It's a very rich white floral scent and it just smells so feminine and mature. This is from the brand Veronique Gabay and it is the Sur La Plage, I believe is how you pronounce it. And this literally just reminds me of home. This is supposed to be a very on the beach type of smell and I 100% agree with that saying. It has orange blossom, magnolia, and jasmine in it as well as a few other notes and it's really supposed to just embody the scent of salty waters and the sun, beachy air, and I really think it does that perfectly. I'm absolutely obsessed with this scent and I feel like it's a very enticing scent if that makes sense like this is definitely something that someone would come up to you and be like what the heck are you wearing because it smells so good be sure to check out the link in the description box and use my code abby too to get your first month of scentbird for just 11 dollars. that's 30 percent off it's really an incredible deal and you can also download their app if you want to check things out that way and thank you so much again to scentbird for sponsoring today's video Good morning everyone. So it's Sunday the next morning. No idea what time it is right now. It is 11.15. I'll just knock your toy off the couch. Um, I just did my skincare and like got ready for the day and I've been up since like 7.45. Um, last night my brother and sister-in-law came over. My sister-in-law saw the place for the first time and we um, hung out. We watched skateboarding and surfing on the Olympics, which was super fun because my brother's super into skateboarding and we both like love surfing. So that was really fun and we just got Flower Child to go and it was delicious and so good to have again. It's been like forever since I've had it and it was really fun just like chill at the apartment and not like do something for like a few hours because i feel like we've been just going like crazy since a week ago so anyways um today the plan my mom stayed the night at my brother's last night just to like spend some time with them and i'm gonna go over to league city and pick her up later i recorded my podcast episode and it's my first podcast episode since the or for the podcast rebrand that's happening which is in bloom podcast which is the new name and i can finally like say it because this video definitely will not be up after or not be up anytime like soon um from right now but it's launching tomorrow so i like recorded the first episode and i basically had um my listeners like email me their passion stories and like lessons learned in their passion how they found it that kind of thing and i shared them and there were like 20 of them so i read through all of them so it was a really long podcast episode and it was so good and just felt so good to do and i'm so excited for the like rebrand and launch and everything so that's what i did this morning and um spent a while doing that obviously and now I'm gonna go home decor shopping. Um, I'm planning on starting the study for the CPA tomorrow and last night I registered for my first exam for reg. Super annoyed because the closest location is in Beaumont and you would think that Houston has a closer prometric location but I guess maybe the closer ones just aren't available for the date I'm doing. Yeah, it was like, I scheduled it and my anxiety like literally instantly increased and I'm like already stressing about it. TV stand is in place, built and ready. My brother checked the other one last night with home with him. In here, I did put, this was hanging on our wall at our old apartment and I just think it looks good like right there in that space. So I'll probably leave that there, I imagine. Um, but I kind of like the way it looks. So that's that, the bathroom's looking good. This is kind of how we have it right now and I honestly like it. Um, I like the play in the corner with the little hand towel and everything. But it's still not what we're doing right here and um, since I showed y'all the closet yesterday, I actually switched everything, like flip-flopped it in here just because I had so much of my stuff right here on the built ends and my dress is over here, but then Griffin's clothes are like right here. So we were like, okay, we're gonna be like in each other's way in the closet if like all my clothes are on this side, but then my other clothes and like jewelry and stuff is on this side. So I basically switched it to where all my clothes are like here 
in here on these racks and then right here. And I have all my shoes over here, my purses are right there. And then we both have our belts, hats, jewelry box. So like, this is kind of both of our areas, more so my stuff than his. So it made more sense to be over here, especially for the dresses and everything. And I just kind of put all of my dresses right here and jumpsuits and then all of my winter stuff I have right here and I'll switch it to where like the dresses and everything are in the back once the winter comes. So this makes the most sense to me. And then Griffin's got all of his shoes over here lots of space um he's still got space on his hangers or on his hanging area and he did like i said he has less hanging area um one because he just doesn't have as many clothes as i do and two he has all of his t-shirts in the drawers in the dresser and he has three drawers and i have two so i have all my t-shirts hung and he has all of his folded so that like kind of makes a difference in the closet i guess you could say but And so I was editing this video and I realized it was I was trying to talk about closet organization and I never actually gave any true insight into it. So just to show y'all how I have my clothes organized in my closet, this is how I've been doing my closet since I was in high school. Um, so basically I color code everything by like the type of clothing it is, like the occasion slash season in a way. So for example, right here in front, I have like my casual t-shirts, like any long sleeve t-shirts, regular t-shirts, and I color coded all of those obviously right here in this section and then right here and over I have all of my sweatshirts hoodies and just jackets and these are also color coded as you can tell and I just tried to keep the things that I am using more often right like in easy access spots which is right now for the phase of life I'm in t-shirts and just like everyday tank tops and like workout clothes so obviously all that's color coded and then I do the same thing my best with dresses and sweaters jackets that kind of thing and then down here I have all of my like tank tops and blouses so these are all like um any like casual tank tops or but also like nicer dressed up tank tops and then I have like body suits and blouses like all throughout and it's all color coded as best as it can be like right here and then like from here over it's just my workout tank tops and um regular like shirts and I have all of my denim and I have that color coded by like white denim um regular denim and then like black jeans and then my shorts are in the back over there on s hooks and I have like skirts and funky pants or whatever <laughs> right here because they just don't really go anywhere else and that's kind of how I organize everything so each individual section is color coded and I just feel like that makes it really easy because if you know you're looking for a t-shirt you can go straight to your t-shirt section and you can find the color within that section I just grilled a piece of sourdough because we don't have a toaster right now. I did order one on Amazon, but we don't have one right now. So I grilled it in the pan, put some like a quarter of an avocado on here with everything, everything but the bagel seasoning, onion salt, garlic salt, and um, crushed red pepper, nutritional yeast, and then a little bit of orange honey and fried egg. Literally the best. I'm going to eat this and then go bop around. As far as a home decor haul goes, I don't want to spend a ton of money on like stuff that's just too specific and trendy that I know I won't like very long. So I try to get very classic things that just really flow with our apartment and will flow with spaces after this. So I didn't get anything like, I tried to get very neutral stuff because that way it'll fit in this apartment and fit in places to come from here. Eclectic Home was the cutest little store in the Heights and I found it on Yelp and it's just like a local store and they have, their prices are so great. They have lots of great fake plants and vases and I love that vases are like in style now on their own. I got this really pretty tricolor vase and does this not completely match the apartment? Like the off-white grayish color is so similar to our cabinets and the countertop and then this brown and black, literally perfect. Um, I think I'm gonna put this on our 
kitchen island with the tray I got. I got this little fake thing. It's like, it was $2 and this vase was $11, which is so good. Like that's not even a home goods price y'all. And I figured I would do something like this. I don't really know. And then I got this vase. I really wanted to go into some other local home places. And I got this, I think I'm gonna put it either on the coffee table or on my nightstand on top of my book just by itself, cute little vase. This one was also like really cheap, yeah, like 15 bucks. And then from Anthropology, this Anthropology is weird. They only had kitchen home stuff. They didn't have any like room home stuff. It was weird. Um, I got this vase, I actually saw it online a long time ago and I love it. It's so pretty. Um, I think this is either gonna go, I don't know which one I'm gonna put in the kitchen. Probably, this is probably gonna go in our bathroom somewhere. I might replace it with the pink one I have right now. I wasn't gonna get this candle, but I haven't had a sweet smelling candle in a long time. It's really pretty. It's the Boulang Boulangerie, I guess that's how you say it. Angel Food scented candle. And it smells phenomenal. It's like a really sweet smell, but it's not too overpowering, I feel like. Um, I went right by like Restoration Hardware and stuff, but I am pretty sure that's like way out of budget, so I'm not even gonna bother going in there. It's a pretty building, but I'm not gonna bother. I got this, I don't wanna break it, and I'm literally about to as we speak. I got a little honey holder, which I've wanted one of these for so long, and this one's a lot cuter than some of the other ones I've seen, so I really just wanted one of the sticks because it's just so much less messy than the bottle. And then I got this tray for the kitchen island. So the kitchen island is huge, and I wanted some something round on it. I have a fruit bowl on it right now, but the fruit bowl's not as big as I thought it would be. But I got this beautiful tray. It's like a black, but it has a copper reflection kind of, and it really meshes, because like this hammered look is exactly what the overhead lights are, which I just now realized. So I actually made a really good choice because I had a hard time deciding, but I really wanted to do a dark, like black or really, really deep brown um, to contrast the like lightness of the island. And then that way, the circular shape just provides different shape instead of putting something square on a rectangular island or something rectangular on a rectangular island. Of this sort with other stuff obviously on the tray. Good morning everyone, it's the next day. It's Monday and um, I'm pretty tired. I took my mom to the airport this morning and I've been back for about 30 minutes. It's eight o'clock and um, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog, but first I'm gonna say thank you for watching. Um, this is kind of like the end of the move-in vlogs. I will still like be showing y'all things as I get things more settled and everything like that, of course, but um, I don't really have any more unpacking to do. So really it's just getting things in their final place and slowly getting decor and stuff if I like want to. Definitely have a little bit left, but I'm really not gonna stress about it since I'm just trying to study for the CPA. I will worry about that later. I did schedule my exam. I think I already told y'all I'm at noon. So with it being at noon, it's a little strange because I was expecting to be able to sign up for an 8 a.m. time slot and I couldn't. My original plan was to get up at like six every day or 5.30 and then like work out come home, shower off, and then get started studying by like eight. But since that's not the case, I don't know if I'm gonna like readjust my time schedule each day for studying. So I'm gonna start today, but I part of me wanted to wait till tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just try to get a little bit done today, even if it's not a lot. Um, so uh, today the podcast rerun also launched, so definitely be sure to check that out. The link tree is updated in the description box and it will always be there if you ever wanna check out the Facebook group or the Instagram for the podcast anywhere, definitely do so. I'm already getting amazing feedback, so super thankful for all of you who are following along and listening, but I love you all. Be sure to be subscribed, turn on post notifications, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, follow me on social media, and I will leave everything, like I mentioned in the video, um, linked in, yeah, down below in the description box, but I love you all, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.